What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com here with another real quick tutorial. What I'm going to show you today is how to use the Isotope Stutter Edit plugin within Machine. Uh, when I first got this plugin, I was very excited about it, all the possibilities and all the things that it could do, but I just could not figure out how to get it working inside of Machine. Um, and it took a lot of trial and error, but I finally figured it out. And so what I've got today is just a, you know, a quick tutorial for, for guys that really want to use Stutter Edit. Uh, I see a lot of guys that do a lot of hip-hop that want really cool breakdowns will love it. A lot of EDM guys will really like this plugin. So check it out. This is how it works. So right now in Group A, I've got just a, you know, a quick patch loaded up uh, with a simple pattern that I created. I'll play it for you now. So as you can see, it's just nothing major, just a little four bar pattern that I came up with for the sake of today's tutorial. All right, now we're gonna run down to group H uh, and go to your first, your, first, uh, your first pad and you're gonna put isotope stutter edit on it. And the way you do that, you come to the first tab here, go to effects, now you go to plugins and then bam, there's isotope stutter edit right there. So when you click right here, edit, it should pull right up. Now, we're going to show you how to route that sound into Isotope Stutter Edit. It is very simple. So you come to your sound, which is right here. I've got it just re labeled Omnisphere. And then make sure your Out tab is selected. And you're going to change the output to H, Isotope's Stutter Edit. So if we are to mute Group H right now, which I'll do here, and play to group A, and if I was to press play, you'd hear nothing. As you can see, my cursor is going to the left, or going to the right, and nothing is playing. So that just shows you that it is actually going out to group H. So now if I hit group H, if I turn that on, now you'll hear the patch. And now, in order to affect it with your stutter edit, it's real simple. Just hit record. And you don't even got to hit record. The great thing about Stutter Edit is it's a lot of effects that are mapped to the keys of your keyboard controller. So you can literally just, while you're playing, press like a C sharp, you know, C sharp 3 and see what it does to the sound, which I'm going to do here. So just a quick little bit crush, or let's try another one. There we go, there's another one. Let's try another one out. So you can you get the idea. It's real simple. You're just routing the audio to uh, the stutter edit patch. And then you can always open up stutter edit and then you can, you know, really dig deep in here, go through your banks and find what you really want. If you want to do like some space and delay or like some glitch effects, you know. You know, but that's how you do it. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is James Jackson with Machine Masters signing off. Make sure you subscribe to MachineMasters.com. Sign up for a bachelor membership and you can be a part of our sample pack Saturdays. And also while I'm here plugging Machine Masters uh, and plugging our products, make sure you head over to HipHopDrumSamples.com and order the machine zip drive. And when you order the machine zip drive, you get the Machine Masters sample kit expansion free so 1999 value that you get free when you order your custom machine zip drive so make sure you guys all do that today once again james jackson from machine masters signing off peace